Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 355. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Asset link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 353 to 356. Hey, 355, we want to see how to do some mortgage uh, payments per period. We want to see four different ones. And then we want to have a little template where we just select a drum, a drop down arrow, and it will show us what the payment is. So I have some values here. Let's first calculate uh, the Pair, the period payment. And by the way, I put these uh, numbers, these are the raw numbers. That's a formula that divides rate times number of periods. That's uh, years times number of periods. So those two are calculating. Now let's come over here and calculate an end mortgage. This is when you pay at the end of the month. We use equals PMT. And we want our rate, and that is not the annual rate, it's the period rate, comma, I'm going to hit F4 to lock that, F4, because I'm going to copy it down, comma, the NPER, that's the number of periods, not years, but total number of periods, F4 key to lock it, comma, present value, well, present value is a finance term, discounted cash flows, but on the day you take out a loan, what is the present value of it? It, it is that amount right, now, right there. Now, when you go to the bank and take out a loan, is that money coming into your pocket or out of? It doesn't matter if you're just going to take the money immediately and give it to someone that you're, you're going to buy a house or a car or a machine or a business. At the moment of taking out the loan, the money comes into your pocket, so that's a positive number, and that's important in finance. Cash flow matters, the direction of where the cash flow goes. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. Comma, we don't have any future value. That would be when there's some lump sum due at the end, but type is important. It's zero for end, that means the end of the period, or like for regular home loans, or one for the beginning of the period, maybe like a uh, lease where you have to pay up front. We're going to leave, uh, put a zero here. Actually, the default is zero, so you don't need it, but that's okay because we're going to copy this formula down. I'm going to control enter. Now, why did that come out negative like that? Why don't we control one to format it? If you don't like the accounting stuff, you can select this one that's currency. That's all format. That's why it came out looking like that. Click OK. Oh, now I'm going to copy it down. Hey, but wait a second, it's the same number for begin. Uh, for begin, we got to change this one to one. So right now we have two different uh, numbers. Again, wh why is that negative? Uh, we, I just jumped and did the uh, format, but why is it negative? Cash flow matters. When you pay this, what is it doing? It's coming out of your wallet into those bankers' wallets, right? And really, uh, most of that's interest too. Now interest only, this is another type, that would just be um, equals minus this one times whatever the period rate is. The reason why it's interest only is because you only pay interest all every month and at the very last 360 payments you pay 125,000. Uh, regular people like us should never do it. The reason that banks were having you do it is because they were scamming everyone in the uh, 2000s. And really, they, it's not really a scam because it was legal, but it really was a scam because uh, you know, everything from the credit default swaps and everything. Everyone, they knew eventually this was going to blow up. It was unsustainable. And why? Because housing prices can't go up forever. And uh, in financial terms, most of the houses weren't uh, worth the discounted cash flows, which are the rents they would have received. Okay, so interest only. This kind of loan usually is only for businesses. They, they're fine. They need to conserve the cash. Uh, until the very end. So they only pay the interest each period and then they pay the whole amount back at the end. That's it. That's the calculation for interest only. 932. So you just pay that amount but at the very end, boom, you, you are paying a lot. You could also see the comparison here. The very first month that you do uh, begin or this, almost all of that payment is going for interest. Ah, but at least you're paying some principal. Other, I don't know what other, there are some other, lots of other methods for calculating, but I'm just going to leave that blank for now and let you fill that in in case there's some other method. Now, we want to have a drop down here, select the type, and then have uh, the payment show up here for our template. This could be off to the side, so who, who's ever using this doesn't have to see these calculations, but I just put it here to, to uh, see on the screen while we're doing this. Now I'm going to do data validation. 
data and then data validation or alt dl and now i want um to allow a list and the list i want is this right here those words and then click OK. So now we have a drop down. Now we could you do some big if, but it's um and if you did a big if, you'd have to do uh, three ifs if you were going to have this one right here. There's four items, so you need three ifs, and you'd have to put each one of those formulas in. But why not just put them in a cell and use VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP, and then say boom that one right there, comma, and here's the whole table. VLOOKUP takes that, races through the first column finds it, jumps over to the second column, and then brings that thing back. All right, so the table is right here, comma, and it, you need to tell the VLOOKUP. It already knows what to look up. It knows where to look it up, but it doesn't know which column. It could take column one or two and bring the thing back. We need to tell it two, so we just type in a two. Lookup range, comma, approximate match. If we had this sorted alphabetically, we could use that, but just in case we don't, I'm going to say com I'm going to use false here or zero. Close parentheses and co control enter. Now I can format this the same as that. I'm going to go up to home and use my painter and then click right there. Now let's try it. Select this and begin and sure enough it's got that one. Let's select this one, interest only. Sure enough it got that one. Let's select other. Woohoo! Our payment is zero. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't uh, done that one yet. <laughs> if we put anything there you'll see that it will actually retrieve it. I like that as a monthly payment. All right, uh, some different uh, payments per, for some sort of loan with data validation and VLOOKUP. We'll see you next trick.